Well, hello there, Sagittarius. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so this reading is for you guys for the first week of December. It will be a timeless reading. Usually these readings are timeless. So anytime you guys come to the reading, uh, will be right for you. You are welcome. Come on in, come on in, have a seat. Let's do this amazing reading for you guys for the first week of December. Okay, you guys. <laughs> The first thing I'm feeling here is that you guys are very powerful. There's a powerful psychic energy here and I am feeling it very strongly. Someone is definitely psychic and is connected to the stars. I am seeing the little, literal stars and obviously from my channel, if you look at my channel, <laughs> you're going to see a lot of stars and a lot of like uh, UFOs and things like that and spirit lights and so on. So someone here listening, thank you so much for coming. You bless us with your energy and we feel blessed by you thank you so much and we f we bless you too now you guys there is a love situation here that is not it's not firing up the way that i want it to want it to but it will be okay so there's something that's changing now it's transforming i'm getting that light is being shed on a situ upon a situation like and, and it's like the higher energies, the divine energies, God, the most high, the spirits, the elementals and the energies of the earth. They're all looking at this relationship as something important because the union of you and this other person, Sagittarius, is important, okay? This could be a relationship, it could be a relationship, it could be something else that you love as well, like your job. It could be something that you love, like, you know, anything, a, a car. You want to buy a car, you want to buy a house. Um, but the feeling that I'm getting the most here is a romantic feeling. I'm feeling a lot of love from you guys. Thank you so much. I really am. Thank you. Thank you. You make me happy when I feel that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So this situation is being illuminated. And it's almost like for some of you, you might have felt that the situation was over and that it would not be revived again. But what I'm getting here is very different, is that this situation is definitely being revived or reopened, so to speak, like this situation. It's something that's destined, it's written in the stars, but it's just the connection has been weakened. Now, there's something that I firmly believe in life, and I've seen this in all of my... Because I work for a lot of people, I've been reading for so many, like, uh, years ever since I was very young, like a little kid. And I know a lot about these things. I recognize the patterns. So I know that one thing is for sure. When something is meant to happen for a person, they do not miss it. It always finds a way of happening. And I listen to people when they read online and they say, um, or not just online, anywhere, they say, if you don't do this, then you'll miss your chance at this or that. Nobody misses a chance for something that's destined for them to be theirs. Okay? You'll find that people will start doing the things that are right before that fated thing happens. Okay? So for, say, for example, someone is meant to meet someone at the gym, for example. From out of nowhere... They'll get up and tell, tell me, Monty, I feel like going to the gym today. And I'll be like, what are you going to the gym for? It's freezing outside. What are you going to the gym for? You can exercise here at home. They'd be like, no, no, I want to go to the gym today. And I'll be like, okay, cool. And then they come back and they'll be like, you won't believe it. I was, I'll be like, what? They say, oh my God, I met someone there. They were this, they were that. And it would be a relationship they, they would carry for the rest of their lives. Okay, so... Why did that person get up and go to the gym, okay, if, if it's actually people's fault that things don't happen? It's none of our faults that things don't happen. It's just not time yet. There is an appointed time that's given by the Most High God for everything to happen, okay? An appointed time. And when we try and play tug of war with that time, we find that we struggle ourselves. And we've all fall trapped in a fall in that trap okay it's human nature okay we are born of cells that travel at very high speed to reach their destination therefore our creation is based on something very fast <laughs> okay 
So we want everything quickly, 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 quickly. Okay? And also, fear is some, an instinct of ours that we have. We fear every minute of every day that something will or will not happen. Okay? For most of us, that's normal. Okay? And if, if we didn't have these emotions, we wouldn't be human. But what I'm trying to say to you here is that there's something fated that is supposed to happen. It looks like a revival for some of the collective. It's a revival of something old. For some of you, it's something brand new. They're showing, showing me an empty gift box. And this is my spirit sign that you are not expecting this. Okay? It's like you're ex it's open, the box, and the box is empty. Okay? So there's two messages here, is that it's already yours because you've taken the gift out of the box and put it somewhere and that it's destined for you to have and you do not expect it because the gift box is empty. It's not because it won't happen. It's not because it's not, it's not going to be. It's because it's not expected to find, a, to, to find a nicely wrapped gift box that's empty. Okay, so... Often if you look at dreams and the science of dreams, things will happen the opposite of what you, know, what you see in the dream. For example, if you see someone pass on in the dream, it means they'll have a long life in real life. You know, that's for many people. You know, many, many like, say, mainstream people who are not psychics, who do not dream and have visions. Some people have visions of things that are going to happen and that's what happens and that's that, okay? Which like me, okay? I don't have these opposite dreams often, okay? I get them direct. But most of the people around me, like my family, my friends, the people that I know who are not trained and born psychic and who can't see spirit and who can't do that, they will see the opposite of a situation. So I'm seeing here a big love, okay? And this is destined to happen. And the spirits are actually in prayer waiting for that to happen. And they said that it will happen. It's just that the way needs to be cleared first. However that resonates with you, you can find that, you know, the, the, that, the message there. I feel that it's supposed to happen now. It's very concrete and it's not going to take a very long time. By the end of December, you're going to be in the arms of someone very, very attractive and very, very clean, beautiful. Someone who's going to really fill your heart with joy, if you are single especially. If you're not single, your love relationships are improving and becoming a lot stronger. But I have a strong feeling for mo most of you, by the end of this New Year's Eve, you're going to be spending in the arms of someone that is going to be your life partner. Okay? This is going to happen very quickly now. So get ready as much as you can to prepare yourself because I've given you a heads up. And relax. Even if these things tarry, say for the worst of you know, uh, uh, for the worst case scenario that it doesn't happen, don't give up, don't lose hope. You can listen to readings, they'll tell you it'll happen now, the time for it is now, and then you, and then you come back, you know, the week after or two weeks after and nothing has happened. Don't worry, because it will happen, okay? Timings are always a bit difficult for spirit, okay, from my experience. And when they give us information, they give it to us timelessly, I get the feeling as a psychic when I feel something close, like when you stand next to a burning candle, you feel the heat or a lamp, you feel the heat of the lamp and you, if you, even if you close your eyes, you see the light. That's the kind of feeling that I'm getting. This thing is here now, but there's a few things that need to fall into place. I feel between two and two days from now, something positive is going to happen. Then after that, there's going to be a day. Then the day after that, another positive thing is going to start up, is going to happen. Even they're very minor, very small towards your goal. These, you're 100% you're going in the right direction. So Spirit wants you to be positive, be strong. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are able to do anything. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back. Relax and chill because your dreams are really are coming true. This is something that you deserve. It's your destiny to get it, okay? So be faithful in the fact and be sure of the fact that this is going to happen for you, okay? I'm also seeing in matters of ab abundance, there is a huge windfall of abundance. It's like a waterfall. They show me a waterfall. So abundance will be coming to you in a non-stop fashion, okay? And it's going to be, I feel, for some of you, 
one thing after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And you're going to have a beautiful Christmas, like I've told you in your, in your um, December readings. And this first week of December is pivotal for that. Even if it ends up just being a week that you rest to prepare for what is coming for you, you rest to prepare for the best, okay? You are becoming more beautiful. You are becoming more attractive. Whatever you touch turns to gold. And you really have got it going, okay? Expect amazing breakthroughs and beautiful things to happen swiftly for you. Wishes are being granted and doors are being opened, okay? You are coming out on top. As you start the new year next year, you're going to find that your world is very different from now. It's beautiful. I love you guys so much. That's all I have for you guys, Sagittarius. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It motivates me to put out more readings for you guys. I don't think I will ever bore or tire from you guys. I love you guys so much. But please like, share, and subscribe. A big kiss for you from us. And we'll see you guys in your next reading. Thank you.